Hi, welcome to Chris and Melanie TV. I'm Chris. And I'm Melanie. And we are your saucy health mavens. And we're connecting you with health and wellness experts in Yavapai County by way of Health Hub Network. And today we have our guest with us, which is Donna Terry, founder of Elite Brain Integration in Prescott. Thank you so much for being here with Thank us. Thank you for having me. We're excited we're, to have you on here. We're yeah. thrilled to be here. Good. Today we're going to be talking with Donna about brain integration and its effectiveness with conditions such as ADD, ADHD, and dyslexia. Correct. Yes. What exactly is brain integration? Brain integration is a non-drug, non-invasive therapy. And it's about averaging between 10 and 12 hours of therapy, usually within two days. Um, and it's just a very systematic, step-by-step -step approach using um, the Chinese meridian system okay. and pressure, acupressure, and kinesiology to test to find out what parts of the brain are shut down and why. Okay. Interesting. So you said it's just over like two days. Yes. So yes. this is pretty quick. I it's mean, it's several quick. hours a day, it sounds like, but it's pretty quick. Six that... hours, six hours, and your life has changed forever. Oh, wow. Wow. It is. We, we, just, we were just having this conversation um, before you got here that when I was growing up, you know, I had a few different traumas when I was fairly young and, and as a way of coping with those traumas, I became very creative, artistic, and the, the right side of my brain was extremely dominant for the majority of my life. And it wasn't until in my 40s that I, after I had gone through a divorce, that I realized I needed to use the left side of my brain more in order to, you know, be more viable out in the workforce, right. and it was incredibly painful, <laughs> and it's and it took several years for me to really open up that side of my brain, yes. and I was just thinking how wonderful it would have been to have gone through this treatment and just shorten that. And, and literally, it takes. Um, you know, within the first half an hour or so, first hour, first session, first part of the session that we open up deep level switching and opening up the right and the left hemispheres and the corpus callosum so that they work. That membrane in between the right and the left is that tele the telephone operator, olden times, but right. it brings back information back and forth very quickly so that you're using both right and left brain simultaneously. Okay. And so wow. that's done immediately, the first few hours. And so, you know, within the first six, uh, six hours of therapy, so many huge, incredible changes happen. And children are, from the day I see them to the next day, they're different children or adults. So what um, Susan has discovered, Susan McCrossan is the founder of Brain Integration, um, that the logic brain is not completely developed until the age of six. It doesn't start until the age of two. That's why you can't reason with a toddler. You can't sit down and have a conversation and then they get it. They just know pain and punishment. They know, mm -hmm. I want something and if I behave, I'll get it. Or if I'm not, I'm going to sit in the corner or whatever the repercussions are. You just can't reason. So when trauma happens, um, it could be as simple as daddy going on a business trip sure. and leaving for a week, coming back. They can't understand that dad's coming back. Parts of the brain shut down pathways it's out of self-preservation. Sure. And so it's an emotionally based genetic issue. So you'll find if a child needs brain integration, either mom or dad both need brain integration. So in my case, wow. uh, I have seven children, and my husband has dyslexia, we didn't know. Um, I had ADD and didn't know, functioned very well. He's a college graduate, and I did well in school. But between the two of us, Six of our seven children needed brain integration, and that's what brought us to um, this therapy. It's one of my daughters. I'm sure people will be curious about how um, how this is, was tested. How do people know that this really works? That this really works. Yes. Susan McCrossan, after she discovered um, brain integration through an injury of her husband, and he was paralyzed, and they went on this incredible journey to heal him and he was healed and he walks today. Um, but he was a um, professor in Sydney. She also had her degree in engineering of some sort. She quit school, I mean she quit her job and she went back to school to get her neuroscience degree. Because she's such a left brain person, mm -hmm. she was like, I need to know and prove that this is 
a reality and this really works. And so what they did is um, she had all the equipment. So she would do before, ask questions and see what part of the brains were firing up, the part that should fire up when you're doing math and higher math, both sides simultaneously should be firing. Um, if it's art, it should be right. If it's um, more science, that kind of thing, maybe left side alone. And before brain integration, parts of the brain were not firing that should be firing. After brain integration, they were firing. And so she wanted to make sure that this was science. It wasn't this abstract um, theory that, yes, sometimes it doesn't, or sometimes it works and it doesn't. So prove right. that, yep, this works. And she has a neuroscience degree just for that reason alone. But proof's in the pudding. You know, sure. if you have a child who is OCD and cannot stop doing a pattern and after brain integration can choose, if they have panic anxiety attack and they're off their meds, if they're taking Ritalin and all of a sudden they tell their mom, hey, I can't take Ritalin, I can't function, um, and they wean themselves off because their brain has been fixed and they no longer need the drugs. Right. They are, do the opposite of what they're supposed to do. So it's, it's pretty um, amazing and life-changing to work on people and their lives are changed forever. When we think about ADD and ADHD, a lot of times we think of, of kids. But I know that there are a lot of adults that are yes. suffering with this too. And does, does this also amazing. help with them? It's amazing. It changes so our life. It changes your life. It changes relationships. It changes how you parent. It changes how you interact. Um, because a lot of issues with ADD, ADHD, dyslexia comes insecurities. Um, mm -hmm. A way of, I mean, thinking that you're stupid growing up all of the issues okay. that go along with it. Mm -hmm. Even the frustration of finding your words as an adult, communicating, that's one of the hugest things that people find is that they can find their words. They are more articulate. Um, you're just sharper. Uh, and brain integration gets rid of emotional trauma, what caused it in the first place, which changes everything. You know, I can look back, my daughter struggles heavily in math especially. Yeah. Her other subjects, she's Fine. great. She's much more of a creative individual. Mm -hmm. um, but she, I homeschooled when she was really young and and she did awesome. And just in listening to you talk about the traumas and mm -hmm. how it sets that off, it was like something switched when she was probably about mm, six-ish mm -hmm. and she had her first anaphylactic shock reaction to a food allergen that we didn't know she had right. and um, almost died Yes. and began to have panic attacks and different things would set her off and since then she just it's that part is just shut down right she just can't do it right and that's where brain integration would come in and get rid of the trauma of the anaphylactic shock the memory of that getting rid of it in the, um, the amygdala, that part of the brain that stores um, trauma, emotional trauma. And when you get rid of what caused it, then it, you can open up the brain. When you say get rid of it, what, is, what does that mean? It's an emotional balance. Um, you go back and you balance like you would open a door that's been shut. So you go in and you find out where it's stored and what emotion is associated with it, and then you do an occipital hold and then we wait for the balance to change, and then I feel the energy shift, and then it's gone. Uh, Donna, I, we could talk about this <laughs> for, for hours with so you. <laughs> but we do need to bring this to a close, and it was so good to have you on our show. Well, I appreciate that you invited me. Thank you very much for having me. I'm passionate about what I do, and love each and every person that comes into my door. So. And it shows. If you've enjoyed so thank you. listening to Donna and hearing about her work with brain integration, and if some of this rings true for you and you have been watching and going, oh my gosh, maybe it can help me with blank, then contact Donna, call her office, check out her website, and see what brain integration can do for you. And then leave a comment under this video to tell us what it is that you're struggling with and that you think brain integration might help with. And um, then head on over to our Facebook page and have a conversation with us there. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you always get our videos delivered right to your inbox. 
and so you never miss a minute of the fun. And go to healthhubnetwork.com and subscribe to our email newsletter. That's it. I think you covered it all. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. So, so thanks for watching Chris and Melanie TV. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, Bye. everyone. This episode of Chris and Melanie TV was brought to you by Body Language Studio and Health in Motion, specializing in physical therapy, yoga therapy, and fitness classes in Chino Valley. Love it when you mess up and it's funny because then we make it into a blooper. Good. <laughs> I'm going to tell you in a second. Okay. <laughs> to Donna. Oh my God. What? Is it not going? <laughs> That's what we get when we are our own camera crew. <laughs>